Fuel wells like charcoal, like firewood, which when used they produce a lot of smoke. So what happens that if a mother, for example, is cooking and using those sources of fuel, they inhale the smoke and then it damages their lungs, it can damage their brain, it can damage their heart. So we are having a program where we want to increase awareness about the dangers of using wood, using charcoal because they produce that polluting, you know, polluting the environment, how it can affect your health. But not only telling them what are problems it brings, but also how can you prevent exposure to that pollution. When you look at what we call the risk factors for diseases like pneumonia, like asthma, like what we call chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, heart diseases, stroke, it is the third. Many times our communities do not perceive it as a problem, as a health problem. Because like I mentioned earlier, when you are cooking within a kitchen and it's smoky, your eyes get irritated, a few tears, and when you get out, you think you're okay. But you've inhaled a lot of smoke. So the effects of being in a smoky kitchen, many times I experience later on in life. The government is conducting e-cooking campaigns and plans to conduct more electric, um, more campaigns on clean cooking. We also have a program called the Electricity Access Scale-Up Project where uh, we target to dis disseminate at least 400,000 clean cooking solutions. That includes both LPG, electricity, um, ethanol, and higher tier biomass stoves.